El Fashir in North Darfur state is the last state capital not under the control of the paramilitary rapid support forces who are battling Sudan's army. But in recent days, fighting has escalated in and around the last town standing. On Monday, the war in Sudan entered its second year, and the UN warned that the breakdown of the fragile peace in Al Fashir would be catastrophic for hundreds of thousands of people. That's because the town functions as the main humanitarian hub in the vast western region of Darfur. Now, the region is the size of France, and it's home to a quarter of Sudan's 48 million people. It's also experienced some of the worst atrocities of the conflict. The RSF has been accused of committing crimes against humanity and an ethnic genocide there. But the army isn't exactly innocent either. Both sides have been accused of shelling residential areas, targeting civilians and blocking humanitarian essential aid. Since the war broke out, thousands of people have been killed, including 15,000 in a single West Darfur town. That, according to the UN. The conflict has also forced over 8.5 million people from their homes. Now, numerous peace talk attempts have taken place, but so far, all of them have failed. Now, another set of peace talks in Saudi Arabia are on the horizon. They were announced on Monday at an international conference in Paris that raised more than 2 billion euros for Sudan.